that's Ashton. And it is John with Up Sub Sandwiches. We are back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching Impractical Jokers, Rocket Scientist Crashes and Burns by the channel Truth TV. True TV, yes. Go and subscribe. Link is down below in the description. Suggestion from Kanad. Thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the description and throw it on through Streamlabs, we can let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Click the video's link, title your email. Now let's get to this video. Feels like forever since we've had some impractical jokes. Joe is today's big loser. Which brings us here to the Little Red Grave Theater on Bleecker Street, where we're gonna fill this room with science enthusiasts and force you to pose as an expert. <laughs> the moderator is gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You have to answer them to the worst of your abilities. We're so excited to see this. We wanted the best seats in the house. That's right, we are gonna be on the panel with you, buddy. So you're gonna be helping me out. <laughs> I would not call it that. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming out tonight. We're gonna to be covering a lot of big topics, so please help me in welcoming our uh, panel of experts. Would they not recognize these guys, though? I know, that's what I always wonder, because they're famous, you yeah, know, they're even well the, known. Even if they didn't recognize one, when all of them are together, they're, they really stand out, you know? Hello. First, we have uh, Brian Quinn, who is the uh, professor of robotics at the College of Staten Island. Yes. And we have Sal Vocano, who is the operations specialist at NASA. Dr. James Murray, head of drone research at DARPA. And finally, Joe Gatto, DARPA. associate director of quantum mechanics, North American division. North America. So what were your reactions to the prison program? I would definitely defer to... Yeah, absolutely. yeah I would look to it. <laughs> the man's right in my wheelhouse. Um, the prison program. You, you, gotta, you gotta think about it from all angles. That's what prison means, right? You gotta... He doesn't know. He doesn't know what to say. The prison, you know, theory basically oh, really man. is saying, you know, as a prison operates... It's to come into problem with different angles. Uh, my, I think it's best to attack a problem at its source and destroy it there. <laughs> it's been a year and a half since the blackout uh, against SOPA and PIPA, and now with the benefit of hindsight, why do you think that blackout was successful? Joe? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. It happened. <laughs> Did we learn from it? Maybe. Should we? Absolutely. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, just, a, I'm just a simple robotics teacher from the College of Staten Island. I don't know if they're aware what the blackout even was. Oh, what sorry. was the blackout? Oh, man. Oh, no, the man. blackout. Uh, the blackout was, uh, you know, the blackout is a, uh, you know... <laughs> we lost power. So, so you're taking his question to mean... Literally, yes. Could I ask you a question? I, I, I've, uh, I, I've never had the, the privilege of being on a panel with a quantum mechanics... Uh, Expert. Yeah. Uh, we all have heard of the quantum mechanics of Planck constant, of course. Of course. Uh, I've never quite understood it. Could you ex uh, explain it in layman's terms? You know how uh, the world goes round? Does that? Yeah. Planck constant does it. Just think of a This is too Planck. good. Holy shit, dude. No. I feel like if a pirate ship was... So the world is spinning. You know what the worst part is? The whole time I'm watching this, I'm thinking, what if I was in this guy's yeah, same. fucking position? Same, because you wouldn't know what to say. <clears throat> Prisms, uh, yeah, the way light goes through things and it projects back and things, yeah. That's a better <laughs> explanation than what he gave. I would <laughs> not know what to shit. say. I literally would be just, probably, I'd probably say similar shit to what he's saying, like, just... John, at least, like, you're you're saying something that, like... I mean, yeah, there's light prisms. I know that's a thing, but I don't know if they use this in terms of other prisms to just break things down. I don't know. This is no... Okay, This would be bad. No, no, in layman's terms, sorry, uh, Dr. Robot. In, in... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you give me a chance to explain here, the Planck, the Planck constant just means that, you know, as the world spins, some things don't. <laughs> what are your thoughts on superposition? Everyone knows superposition, of course, in the quantum mechanics world. What's your thoughts on that? I could take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all good with it, for the most part. I mean, some people... <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I could take it or leave it. <laughs> Can you speak to No matter what it is, that doesn't <laughs> answer it. Well, I mean, the biggest thing is uh, when to use it and when to not use it, right? Uh, should you use it in a uh, computing system that's going to guide uh, missile attacks in uh, Central America? Yes. Should you use it in a tablet? No. 
<laughs> you can use that in a tablet. I don't need that in the app. There's not an app for that, and I'm fine with it because superposition isn't a power that should be yielded by uh, a 10 year old uh, named Duncan uh, who lives down in New Jersey on his yeah, iPod man. Touch. <laughs> I want to thank uh, our panel very much for coming out. I'm glad I did this. <coughs> this is very enjoyable. He's crying. <laughs> that was awesome. I love them. They are good. <laughs> oh, we did. still have the Impractical Jokers DVDs. That who sent those to us? Now, why am I drawing a blank? That was Grant, wasn't it? Was it? Or no, maybe that wasn't. We haven't watched them because we have not had time, and but we are going to watch them. Was that Grant, Grant or SinCloud? I feel they like they both it was like Impractical Jokers. I feel like it might have been SinCloud, but I no, I don't know, man. You know what? Sorry, but it, it, it is hard because we just got so many people now that we, it, well, we obviously we're suggest, dealing, suggest videos. We're dealing with so many people on an everyday basis, like with emails and all our different social media. It's just difficult to remember everything. We're only two people, you know. True but, that. um, yeah, we're going to watch them all once we get moved and situated because we've been dying to see them. Yeah, we've so. only seen clips from YouTube. That I maybe have seen like two episodes, three episodes in my days. The DVDs are in there, but we, we'll watch them and... Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Guys, go check out the channel, which is True TV. The link is down below in the descripto. Very important to support the channels that you love. Leave some comments below of what you would have said to some of those questions if you don't know. If you do know what those things were and nobody cares what it is, then just, just the funny parts. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.